In this video, I'll be quantizing LAMA 3.1 model using four different methods. We're going to use Intel's AutoRound, GPTQ, Bits and Bytes, and AWQ. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now, a lot of people that are watching this video may or may not remember or know what quantization is. Quantization, why do we do it? Essentially, it's a nice way to reduce the model footprint. So let's say you have a model of 500 megabytes over here. You can reduce it to 168 or one third or half the size, half the original size, which allows you to serve and deploy a model, even train the model with less powerful GPU, which in turn is quite easier on the wallet, which means you can get away with having a cheap GPU. That's why we typically quantize a model. So what is quantization? Quantization is a process of reducing the precision of the model's parameters or data to make it smaller and faster without greatly affecting its performance. This helps in running big models on less powerful devices efficiently. So typically the more common techniques are using auto AWQ, auto round, bits and bytes and GPTQ. These are typically the four main techniques that you can use to quantize your big LLMs. Now I've made a video previously on how to calculate how much GPU you may need in order to run a quantized or a normal LLM. So please feel free to check it out after this video. Now, what are some cons of quantization? It's not all green grass everywhere. There are some potential accuracy loss that you may expect when you quantize a model. That will be dependent upon how strongly you quantize the model. You can quantize it on four bits, eight bits, six bits, or however many bits you want. And that will kind of determine the accuracy loss that you may expect from a model like this. Now, of course, this may not apply to every single model. So you have to kind of test an experiment to see if it works on your data and model. And it can be quite complex in implementation with limited support with different devices. But nevertheless, most devices these days or GPUs actually allow to deploy or train a quantized model. So today, in today's day and age, you should be fine. But nevertheless, even though you quantize a model, you may need to do some extra fine tuning in order to apply it for a domain. And of course, fine tuning is not a huge deal anymore, but this is an extra step that you may need to take. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to quantize Llama 3.1 now, as mentioned, we're going to quantize the model in four main ways. We're going to use AutoRun, GPTQ, Bits and Bytes, and AWQ. So first things first, let's install the packages. To quantize the model using AutoRun, you have to install Transformers and AutoRun. Of course, we're going to use Colab. Now, Colab already has Transformers, but you may need to upgrade it for the model you're using. So let's do that. Okay, now the package is successfully installed. We are going to import auto model from Cosal LM and auto tokenizer from transformers. And then we can import torch and then we can define the model name. We are going to be using a Llama 3.1 8 billion instruct. And then you have to load the model and the tokenizer. Now we are loading it and a torch float 16 bit, but we're going to quantize it into a four bit model. So we're going to import from auto round, import auto round. We're going to define bits, group size, and SIM. Now this SIM is the synchronous or asynchronous quantization method. Now this particular value over here, this can be changed to false over here, and this will quantize the model in asynchronous manner. Sorry, not asynchronous, symmetric quantization and asymmetric quantization. And then we're going to define auto round model, passing the model, passing the tokenizer, the bits, how many bits you want to quantize it to, group size, batch size, sequence length, sim, symmetric, gradient accumulation step, and then device CUDA. And after that, all you guys really have to do is do autoround.quantize and output directory to save the model in your directory of your choice. All you guys have to do is just run it. Now, this may require that you have a HF token on your environment. I have my HF token over here in my local environment. So you may need that to download the Meta Llama 3.1 model. Now, over here, I've already quantized it and saved the model in my Hugging Face hub. So I will not need to do that. And by the way, if you guys want to save your quantized model, all you guys really have to do is simply write model push to hub, and then you pass in the token, your token from the Hugging Face hub in the API section, and then it's do the same thing for the tokenizer as well. So tokenizer, and that's how you save your model in Hugging Face hub. Now I've already done this step and I already have saved it in my Hugging Face repository, so I will not do that anymore. I can skip it to the next part on how to quantize using GPTQ. So let's do that. Again, similar story here we are going to install our packages. So same story here, install, upgrade auto GPTQ, accelerate datasets and optimum. And then you can also upgrade the transformers as well. 
I'm going to stop this cell over here because I don't need it right now. This is asking me to restart the session. So I'm going to do that. Now I can import our GPTQ packages and transformers. Same story here, import torch, write in the model path and the quantization bit. You can change it to two, three, eight, or whichever quantization you want, define the path. And then we're going to load the model and tokenizer as we typically do. And then we get to define the quantization configurations. We write quantizer, GPTQ quantizer, pass in the bits, the data sets, and the model sequence length, and then quantize the model that we have. And then you save the quantized model in a path. And then you're ready to run the model. Now, by the way, I am using an A100 GPU, which is the pro version of Colab. So just in case you guys are wondering. Now, again, I've already done this step before, and I've showed you guys that this actually is quantizing the model right now. And this could take some time, depending on how fast your computer is. But right now, I'm also going to skip this part right now and move on to bits and bytes to show you guys how to use bits and bytes to quantize a Llama 3 bundle. So install the packages. So we're going to import auto tokenizer, auto model code, and bits and bytes config. Now you may have noticed that I've also done bits and bytes when I was fine tuning Llama 3 model using Unsloth. So that is something you guys can also do, quantizing the model before you even fine tune, which may fasten the process of fine tuning or trading your model. Now over here, we have defined the compute D type, model path, quantization path. We're going to load the tokenizer as usual. And then we are going to define the BNB config, the bits and bytes config. We load in 4-bit, true, BNB 4-bit quant type and NF4. This configurations will essentially say that, hey, quantize it to 4-bits. And all you guys have to do when loading the model, you pass in the model name, the quantization config, BNB config that we just defined over here, and then you save the model. And that's really it. Now over here, you may encounter this specific error over here. That is why we have installed this one. So all you guys have to do is restart the session after you've upgraded the bits and bytes package. And there you go. Once you've restarted the session, it is quantizing the model as we wanted to. Now while it is being quantized, let's see how we can use AWQ to quantize our model. So same story here, install the packages. And one thing I want to mention over here with AWQ, I had a hard time with an import with this specific package. I'm not sure why, because I've already used this AWQ before, before making this video and it worked then. But now when I do it, since yesterday, the package hasn't been importing correctly. I'm not sure why exactly, but I'm still gonna provide you guys with the code on if you guys may want to use AWQ to quantize your Llama 3 model. So over here, you pass in from AWQ, import auto AWQ for calls at LM. You define the model path, the quantization path, and the quant config, where you pass in the four bit over here. You load the model, you quantize the model like this, and then you save it. Now I've actually tested the different methods over here, like AWQ, bits and bytes, and many other methods that I've shown before to see which one has the faster throughput. And all of them have the same throughput, maybe a difference of 0.5 milliseconds. So regardless of which one you use, the throughput should essentially be the same. However, one thing to experiment with or something that you guys can experiment with is to see the different models that you guys have quantized, whether or not they all have the same performance or not, considering you have everything else kind of constant. So that's something that you guys may want to try out with. All right, guys, that is quantizing Llama 3.1 model in four different ways. Hope you found this video insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I make similar videos like these. And of course, I will provide the notebook in the description down below. All right, guys, have a nice day.